In this video we will show you three techniques for single user hand grip during ultrasound guided regional anaesthesia. The perceived benefits for single user injection in this setting relate to the ability of the person performing the block to assess the injection pressure themselves, for there to be less wastage of local anaesthetic and for there to be an enhanced ability to use the hydrodissection technique when performing blocks. The first of these techniques is the Allen grip devised by Dr Tony Allen, a consultant anaesthetist at the Great Western Hospital in Swindon, UK. We'll now show you how to use the Allen grip. The needle is placed in between the thumb and the middle finger, employing a pincer type grip. The syringe is placed, bevel facing downwards into the palm of the hand and gripped by the little and ring fingers, whilst the index finger is used to aspirate and inject on the plunger. We will now demonstrate the Allen grip on a phantom. The needle is inserted with the probe in situ in the normal manner. The probe will now be removed for clarity. You can see that aspiration and injection is possible with this technique, as is fine needle control with that pincer grip. The second technique demonstrated is the Jedi grip, described by doctors Papin and Christie from Derriford Hospital in Plymouth, UK. With the Jedi grip, the syringe is once again placed, bevel down and held in the palm of the hand between the little and the ring finger. The thumb is placed on the plunger. The needle is placed in between the index finger and the middle finger, thus. The needle can be advanced using this movement, and aspiration on the plunger is possible with the thumb. You do, however, lack some of the accuracy of the standard pincer grip movement demonstrated here. The Jedi grip is now demonstrated on a phantom. The needle is inserted with the probe in situ, but this has been removed for clarity. Aspiration and injection using the thumb on the plunger is demonstrated, as is variation in needle tip angulation. The reference for the Jedi technique is shown here. The final technique, the single-handed user grip, has been published by Dr Nigel Bedforth et al. from Nottingham University Hospital, Nottingham, UK. With this final technique, the syringe is placed, bevel facing away from the palm, between the middle and the ring finger. The plunger is rested on the thena eminence, and a pincer grip is utilised between the thumb and the index finger. With this technique, pressure from the thena eminence on the plunger allows injection, However, there is no ability to aspirate. This is offset by increased accuracy of needle manipulation between thumb and index finger. The single-handed user grip is now demonstrated on a phantom. The needle is inserted in the normal manner with the probe in situ. The probe has been removed for clarity. The needle can be manipulated in the normal manner and injection is continued by pressure from the thena eminence onto the plunger of the syringe. Again, the ability to aspirate is not possible with this technique. The reference to the single-handed user technique is shown here. We now have a few tips if you are planning on using a single-user injection technique. If you are concerned that the size of your hands may limit your ability to use a 20ml syringe, simply fill the syringe to half its capacity. Before attempting to use any of these techniques for the first time, please ensure you practice on a phantom. You may find certain techniques are more beneficial for certain blocks. The aim of any of these techniques are to improve the user's ability to assess injection pressure throughout the procedure and to limit the amount of local anaesthetic used. If, however, at any stage you find the accuracy of your needle tip placement is affected, please go back to your standard method of administration.